Hi everyone and welcome to another Flight Deck Sim tutorial. In today's video we will be looking at non-standard go-arounds or go-arounds that are executed whilst not in the landing configuration. So the QRH maneuvers section does give guidance on how to fly a missed approach and it presumes the aircraft is in the landing configuration and below the missed approach altitude. So what do you do if air traffic control tell you to execute a go around prior to this configuration or in the earlier stages of the approach? Well here are some useful tips you can use on your next virtual flight. Firstly, make sure the missed approach altitude is set on the MCP. That's so the Order Flight Director system can actually capture it and give you good flight director guidance. Remember when you push TOGA, the Order Flight Director system will command a climb, even if you're above the missed approach altitude. We'll talk about that uh, more later because we'll be demonstrating that today. If the flaps are greater than 15, select flap 15, but if it's less than flap 15, initially leave them in the current selected uh, flap position. Set the thrust as appropriate, so if you're just below the missed approach altitude, don't go and set full ground thrust. Make sure you raise the landing gear with a positive rate of climb and ensure you select a roll mode as required. Now one of the quirks with the approach mode in the Boeing 737 is that once the glide slope is captured it cannot be deselected on the MCP. The only way to get rid of approach mode is to push TOGA which is only desirable if you're below the missed approach altitude because it will command a climb. Otherwise your only options are, are to either detune the ILS or recycle the flight directors. So to demonstrate a non-standard go around, what we're going to do is execute a missed approach very early on off runway 27 here in Norwich. I'll see you on final approach. Okay, we're localizer established on runway 27. We're coming up to glide slope capture. So let's now monitor glide slope capture and notice how the approach mode light extinguishes after we've captured the glide slope. There we are, glide slope capture, the approach mode light is extinguished. Let's set the missed approach altitude, which is 2,000 feet, and 2,000 feet is now set. Alpaca 5 Golaf Alpha, runway inspection has found debris, runway 27 closed. Go around, I say again, go around, runway heading to 2,000 feet. Mamma mia! Okay, so thanks a lot Giovanni, uh, we'll now have to fly the missed approach, so we'll go through those steps, we'll firstly verify the speed brake is stowed now, so there we are, speed brake is stowed, the missed approach altitude is set, which is 2000 feet, the flaps are currently at 5 and the gear is up, we're now ready to go around. So on the real aircraft we'd now just simply detune the ILS, we'll do the same in the PMDG, but there's a bit of a bug, it de uh, uh, disconnects the autopilot, which shouldn't happen, so we'll just deselect it now and re-engage command uh, A and we now have control wheel steering roll and pitch which is what should have happened automatically. So we'll just maintain uh, this track so we can gauge LNAV uh, which is also isn't working so we'll just go heading select well, to be fair he did say maintain present heading so uh, heading select and if we select vertical speed we can just allow the aircraft to continue descending towards the missed approach altitude. We're now waiting for uh, out hold or firstly out acquire and then out hold. So there we are, out holes just engaged, we can now bug the up speed so we can execute the the, the clean up uh, and continue with the, the go around and wait for further instructions from ATC. So there we are, accelerating, select flaps 1. And above the 1 bug accelerating, select flaps up. There we are, flaps up, no lights, after takeoff checklist. The gear's off, we'll leave it auto brake at 3 for the next approach. Uh, star switches are already moved to off. Air conditioning and pressurisation, the diff pressure's 1.0 set. And the uh, altimeter's QNH 1000 set, maintaining 2000 feet as cleared by ATC on runway heading, after takeoff checklist complete. So that's the non-standard go-around tutorial. I hope you found that interesting and learned something new. Of course, this is just one example of how to get off an ILS uh, whilst established, but there's lots of different ways of, of managing non-standard go-arounds. For example, if it was a non-precision approach, you could just simply set the missed approach altitude, and if you're above it, the aircraft would automatically level off at the missed approach altitude, and then you could just clean up accordingly. Or you could just do the normal go around if you're below the missed approach altitude, but just leave the flaps where they are initially, and make sure you raise the gear with a positive rate of climb. 
Anyway, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. And if you want to stay up to date with the latest content, don't forget to subscribe as well. And I'll see you on another video or live stream very soon. Bye-bye from me. Ciao, ciao.